So then, uh, a couple days later, I went to see him. And I went up to his apartment, and I, was, I walked through, there was this courtyard there, and there was this one devotee, and he was going, uh, he was typing, he was typing, and completely immersed in his work, and I associated that it was this manuscript, he was typing, and it must have been something that Swami's books. So I went up to the apartment, knocked on the door, and the door opened, and the Swami was there. And he said, yes. And I said, well, I'd like to speak with you. And he said, oh, yes, come in. And then we went in together to his little sitting room. Prabhupada sat down behind this little metal box. It looked very quaint. And uh, we started talking. He asked me my name. And I told Bruce, and, and Prabhupada was talking about in India during the Raj, there was one Lord Bruce, and so on. And uh, then, uh, so on, then I started telling uh, the Swami about myself, and, um, and then I just found myself saying that. Uh, well, I want to become your student, full time. And uh, actually, I had just finished taking. Um, uh, I had taken a special uh, training in, for teaching, and I was employed by the New York City Board of Education to teach uh, remedial reading. It was a special program to. Uh, culturally deprived children means you know in the, the ghettos and uh, so I said to Swami that uh, well I, I've just finished my training my actually my assignment was beginning the next day and I said uh, well my job actually begins I have a job and uh, I'm beginning it tomorrow is my assignment but uh, I just want to be uh, with you I just want to be your student and um, so Prabhupada said, well, that's fine, <coughs> but um, you have a job. And I said, yes. Probably got a lit up. He said, oh, and what is the salary? So then Prabhupada uh, explained to me Bhagavad Gita in a nutshell. Uh, and he explained uh, Krishna telling Arjuna uh, to do his duty uh, to do devotional service, to work for Krishna, but not partake of the fruits of the activity. Give all the fruits of activity to Krishna. So Prabhupada explained to me, and then he gave me a very practical instruction, first instruction. So. He said, you, you can be my student, and, uh, and you can also do your job. And you can also give the fruits of, the, of your job to Krishna. So my first service was to work and to give uh, my salary to Prabhupada. Uh, the first contact I had with Srila Prabhupada, after having heard that he was starting a temple, was that um, I was about to move into a place I was going to use as a sculpture studio for myself on Haight Ash in Haight-Ashbury on Frederick Street. It, it, it was, as a matter of fact, it was in 518 Frederick Street in San Francisco that I had had, some friends of mine had the place and they were turning it over to me. And my first contact with Srila Prabhupada in that sense was I was rather shocked to find that somehow he had gotten it. <laughs> my studio, <laughs> before I could move in, he would somehow gotten it away and I was very upset at that time and I thought what am I doing what's going on here I had this great studio and now it's gone and then I thought to myself my heart softened and I said well he's a yogi and he's doing good so I guess that's okay you know and so I forgave the forgave fate little realizing what a amazing turnaround was going to take place we had an altar before even Lord Jagannath came so 
in a non-self-conscious way, in a way that was very open-minded. Prabhupada Swamiji at the time didn't tell us about Vyasasan, didn't make us cut our hair, didn't um, say anything about bowing down. And he just accepted things as, as they are and accepted us. And he could have gone for any segment of society, Vivekananda, whatever, uh, try to speak to large groups. Krishna sent us, enthusiastic, young, believing we could do anything. Uh, in some ways it was good because uh, already being adventurous or already not being too staid in the lifestyle, we were able to go along and do anything the, as an adventure. And that's what happened. Anyway, we followed him to the ends of the earth. So the totem pole, uh, there was an artist who came from New York. There was a New York contingent that slowly came to San Francisco. And there was Hari Das, Harvey Cohn. He came in a Cadillac, an old Cadillac. We called it the Krishna Lack. It was our car. And uh, so he still did his art, and for some reason, he put a totem pole right by the, by the temple altar in Frederick Street. Here's the altar. And there was a painting of Lord Ch uh, the Panchatakra that he eventually put there. And the totem pole was there with hooked noses and wings and masks and moons and... And Prabhupada just accepted it. There was eclectic pictures. Lord Jesus was in the temple. Prabhupada said, Lord Jesus is very nice. And uh, so the totem pole was just part of the temple, and he didn't really tell us to do too much, except very directly. Cooking he taught. Cooking he taught. Jamuna and Harsharani, Govinda Dasi. I don't know if she t told you about the starvation committee, that he called her the starvation. Well, she chose to perhaps leave that out, but uh, when he was sick at one time, she had, a, had this a special diet that the doctors told to give him. And Prabhupada wanted stuff for tall or something like that, and he called her the starvation committee that my mother came to see Prabhupada after. So she, I was telling her about it and she wanted to see what... And then my brother came and joined me also. and She wanted to see what we were getting into. And so... Uh, so she came one evening just before the kirtan. And by that time I had also already been home to visit her and she saw, you know, uh, we, we were strict vegetarian. We wouldn't eat her, the food that she cooked, and, you know, the, the pots were contaminated. She was contaminated. The whole house was contaminated. And <laughs> so she said, hey, what's happening here? Anyway, so she went to see Prabhupada, and uh, Prabhupada in his room had one folding uh, metal chair, which was meant for... You know, VIPs who couldn't sit on the floor. So this chair was put out for her, and she sat on this chair, and everyone else, Prabhupada, us, we sat on the floor. And then she was asking Prabhupada, you know, what are you, what are you doing with my boys, and this and that. And, and Prabhupada was explaining, preaching. And... Uh, so then at a certain point, Prabhupada asked that, you know, I'm, uh, I'm taking care of your sons. Uh, by that time I had left my apartment and moved into the storefront. Gargamuni also. You know, I'm taking care of them, I'm feeding them and looking after them and providing. And uh, actually we have no income here and so on. And, uh, 
maybe you would like to um, give some donation. And my mother looked at us and looked at Prabhupada and said, uh, well, donation, uh, I think I've already given a donation. I've donated my sons. And Prabhupada said, oh, yes, 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 very good. And he said, that's okay. And, um, but by her saying that, and it was like she gave us to Prabhupada. 